Hello dear students I welcome you all in this session of picture comprehension I am Anurag Kalada working as English mistress at government senior secondary school for boys Abul Khurana district Shirmukhsar Sahib students I am your friend and guide today I am going to discuss the topic picture comprehension with examples and exercises I am going to be with you throughout the session and hope you will find this topic interesting students language undoubtedly has a very important social purpose because it is mainly used for linguistic communication communication thus helps understand people better removing misunderstanding and creating clarity of thoughts and expressions students language is a communicating system it is true that we use language to communicate with others the communication function of language is very important because it allows us to represent things not only to ourselves but to others as well language is basically a system of communication where sound or signs convey objects actions and ideas students language is primarily spoken not written but the development of the writing medium and later the printing system went a long way in the dissipation of knowledge and without which humans would have remained in the dark about the ways of life and thought processes of their ancestors my dear students the spoken form of any language is followed by its written form in its most primitive form writing meant the carving drawing or painting of various experiences or of symbolic elements representing it when we think of language skills the four skills listening speaking reading and writing readily come to our mind these are the four foundational skills of language learning you can't build a house without a strong foundation similarly you won't become a well-rounded speaker of a language without building upon the four foundations of language learning students the natural order of learning a language is listening speaking reading and writing listening the ability to hear and understand listening means when we are learning a new language we first hear it in spoken form speaking the ability to convey the message verbally it means eventually we try to repeat what we hear reading the ability to recognize words and comprehend reading means later we see the spoken language depicted symbolically in print and last writing the ability to express views in written form it means finally we reproduce those symbols on paper comprehension comprehension means the ability to understand completely and be familiar with the situation facts etc in a comprehension exercise you are given the opportunity of using the different functions of the brain one part of our brain helps in memorizing recalling and calculating while the other part of the brain helps us to imagine create and express our ideas thoughts and feelings students we can say comprehension means to understand something when we are able to comprehend the given text we can give answers to the questions asked in that comprehension students comprehension is of three types reading comprehension picture comprehension dialect comprehension picture comprehension students this is our topic of today there is a saying that a picture is worth a thousand words pictures create a direct sensory connection between learners and their subjects 
that results in a new levels of interest and attention picture comprehension is a great intro to reading comprehension kids will simply identify what is going on in each picture students one look is worth a thousand words is an english language saying meaning that complex and sometimes multiple ideas can be conveyed by a single still image which conveys its meaning or essence more effectively than a mere verbal description these picture comprehension are very popular among students children study the pictures which are full of interesting details and then answer the simple questions it will help students to find meaning in pictures strengthen their reading comprehension skill they will be able to decode text and make inferences quickly students we can say picture comprehension is a type of question asked in your examination for which you don't have to cram anything beforehand and even then you can score full marks all that is needed is your vocabulary knowledge and imagination students there is no right or wrong answer in this exercise it is the question of how well you write and how much of imagination you have tips for answering picture comprehension read the questions first observe the picture carefully keep the questions in mind if any figures and objects are there count them understand the concept and situation read the questions and answers accordingly students now our topic begins i hope all of you are holding your notebooks and pens in your hands i am going to show you our first picture look at the picture but as i've already told you to read the questions first so first we will read the questions answer the following questions name the festival shown in this picture and the options are number 1 diwali number 2 holi number 3 lohri number 4 dashera second question what are the children doing in this picture number 1 cycling number 2 playing football number 3 playing with colors number 4 dancing students i'll give you some time to note down the questions now we move to third question how many girls are seen in this picture and the options given are number 1 5 number 2 2 number 3 3 number 4 1 students write down this question next question is what is blue dressed girl holding in her hand number 1 water gun number 2 balloons number 3 stick number 4 bucket students write down this question i'll give you some time yes question number 5 which type of color the two boys are putting on each other and the options given are number 1 water color number 2 colored powder number 3 water balloons number 4 silver paint students write down this question students now i'll give you some time to observe the picture carefully does it remind you anything i am sure all of you are having a big smile on your face after seeing this picture students now 
I shall read the questions so that you can pen down the answers in your notebook. Question number first. Name the festival shown in this picture and the options are number one Diwali, number two Holi, number three Lohdi, number four the Shara. Write down the answer in your notebook. Question number second. What are the children doing in this picture? And the options given are number one cycling, number two playing football, number three playing with colors, number four dancing. Yes, students, question number third. How many girls are seen in this picture? And the options you have, number one, five, number two, two, number three, three, number four, one. Now we move to question number four. What is blue-dressed girl holding in her hand? And the options are, number one, water gun, number two, balloons, Number three, stick. Number four, bucket. I hope all of you have written those answers. And now question number five. Which type of color the two boys are putting on each other? And the options you have are number one, watercolor. Number two, colored powder, number three, water balloons, number four, silver paint. Students, let us observe the picture again and try to find the correct answers of the questions. Look at the picture carefully. And keep those questions in your mind. Name the festival shown in this picture. And the answer is Holi. Second question. What are the children doing in this picture? And the answer is playing with colors. Now question number three, how many girls are seen in this picture? The answer is two. Next question, what is blue grass girl holding in her hand? And the answer is water gun. Question number five, which type of color the two boys are putting on each other? And the answer is colored powder. I hope all of you have written those answers. Yes students, we have another picture for practice but again we will read the questions first and then focus on the picture. And the questions are number one, where does this picture take us? The options you have are Number one, zoo. Number two, park. Number three, museum. Number four, mall. Students, you keep on writing those questions. Second question, how many persons do you see in this picture? And the options you have, number one, four, number two, five, Number three, six. Number four, three. I'll give you some time for writing down these questions. Third question, what is baby elephant doing? And the options are number one, playing in water. Number two, sleeping. Number three, Running, number four, none of the above. Students, jot down this question. Next question, 
What is the girl in red dress doing? The options you have. Number one, running. Number two, playing. Number three, clicking photograph. Number four, sitting. Students, I'll give you some time for writing these questions. Yes, question number five. What is in the mouth of baby polar bear? The options you have. Number one, turtle. Number two, bread. Number three, fish. Number four, crow. Students, write down this question. I'll give you some time. Students, now here is the another picture for practice. Observe the picture carefully. I think all of you love to visit these type of places. These places allure the kids. Now again, I'll read the questions and you will jot down the answers in your notebook. Question number one, where does this picture take us? And the options you have, number one, zoo, number two, park, number three, museum, number four, mall. Students, mark the answer. Second question, how many persons do you see in this picture? The options are number one, four, number two, five, number three, six, number four, three. Choose the answer. And we move to third question. Third question is, what is baby elephant doing? And the options given are, Number one, playing in water. Number two, sleeping. Number three, running. Number four, none of the above. Mark your answers, students. Next, fourth, what is the girl in red dress doing? And the options are number one, running. Number two, playing. Number three, Clicking photograph, number four, sitting. Have you chosen the answer? Now we move to question number five. And the question is, what is in the mouth of baby polar bear? And the options are, number one, turtle. Number two, bread. Number three, fish. Number four, crow. Students, let us observe the picture again and try to find correct answers of the questions. Students, observe the picture carefully. I will give you some time. And this picture is quite interesting also. Okay, students, now let us check our answers. First question is, where does this picture take us? And the answer is, zoo. Second question, how many persons do you see in this picture? And the answer is, four. Hope all of you have chosen the right answers. Now we move to question number three. What is baby elephant doing? And the correct answer is playing in water. Next question. What is the girl in red dress doing? Yes, the correct answer is clicking photograph. Yes, absolutely right. And question number five is 
what is in the mouth of baby polar bear and the correct answer is fish students i hope all of you have marked the correct answers and enjoyed this picture students we will do practice of one more picture and before showing you that picture i'll read the questions first what is the name of disease mentioned in this picture and the options are malaria number 2 typhoid number 3 covid 19 number 4 swine flu students keep on writing second question with what we should cover our face when in public and the options you have number 1 helmet number 2 mask number 3 gloves number 4 hands students i'll give you some time for noting down these questions okay now move to third question and the third question is for how much time should we wash our hands and the options are number 1 2 seconds number 2 20 seconds number 3 1 minute number 4 35 seconds next question if we are sick what should we do and the options you have number 1 go to public places number 2 stay home number 3 party with friends number 4 go to school okay students now move to question number 5 how much distance we must keep from other person and the options are number 1 10 feet number 2 6 feet number 3 2 feet number 4 none of the above write down this question students now here is the picture for practice observe the picture carefully don't you think this picture depicts the present scenario of the world this is the common sight we find in our daily life first question is what is the name of disease mentioned in this picture and the options are number 1 malaria number 2 typhoid number 3 covid 19 number 4 swine flu choose the right answer next question is with what we should cover our face when in public and the options you have number 1 helmet number 2 mask number 3 gloves number 4 hands question number 3 for how much time should we wash our hands the options are number 1 2 seconds number 2 20 seconds number 3 1 minute number 4 35 seconds the answer is quite obvious we practice it daily yes question number 4 if we are sick what should we do and the options you have number 1 go to public places number 2 stay home number 3 party with friends number 4 go to school the next question 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव हाउ मच डिस्टेंस वी मस्ट कीप फ्रॉम अदर पर्सन एंड द ऑप्शन यू हैव नंबर वन टेन फीट नंबर टू सिक्स फीट नंबर थ्री टू फीट नंबर फोर नन ऑफ द अब मार्क यूर आंसर्स स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस ऑब्जर्व द पिक्चर अगेन एंड ट्राई टू फाइंड करेक्ट आंसर्स ऑफ द क्वेश्चन students keenly observe this picture now let us discuss the answers question number 1 what is the name of disease mentioned in this picture and the answer is covid 19 second question with what we should cover our face when in public and the answer is mask question number 3 for how much time should we wash our hands and the answer is 20 seconds question number 4 if we are sick what should we do and the answer is stay home question number 5 how much distance we must keep from other person and the answer is Six feet. So, students, it's time to wind up our topic picture comprehension. Today, we did practice of it by observing pictures and answering the questions based on the pictures. I hope you not only enjoyed this session but also learned the tips and tricks of doing it in an interesting way. students i expect you will do some practice of this of your own also now it's time to sign off stay home stay safe thank you